What's up, my little pretties? It's your mistress, the Shadow Linus here, and today we're going to review another Shrek movie. Well, I kind of spoiled it, but <laughs> anyways, we're going to review a DreamWorks movie that came out in 2001, and yet I already give you the hint, and today we're going to review everyone's favorite movie, Shrek. Shrek is actually one of my favorite childhood movies, even though it's a non-Disney movie, it's still a really good movie. As of today, I still watch this movie, and today I'm going to be reviewing of how good this movie is. Now, I know there are other sequels like Shrek 2, Shrek the 3rd, and even Shrek Forever After. I will be reviewing them eventually, actually, like maybe I'll review Shrek 2 eventually when I get the time to, I will definitely review Shrek 2. This is obviously happens to be one of my favorite films of DreamWorks. Okay, now I'm going to be, just to warn you guys right now, for those of you who have not seen Shrek, I am going to be spoiling pretty much about this movie. So if you guys don't want me to spoil it, I highly recommend you click off this video right now and go watch another one of my videos if you, if you want to. Now with that said, let's begin. This movie Shrek is about a, an ogre named Shrek who lives alone in a swamp. Basically, he's been living in a swamp by himself is because he's been all by himself. However, one day when a pack of um, villagers tried to go to confront the ogre, however, Shrek scares them off with his terrifying roar. And the next day is when things got really crazy. Basically, a talk donkey, a talking one, basically was going to be sold to be taken to the swamp with a lot of the other fairy tale creatures. However, Donkey refuses to do so and he gets away only to run run into an ogre named Shrek who basically um, looks to find out that Lord Farquaad's soldiers are basically taking the fairy tale creatures to his swamp. So with that said, Ed, Ed, Shrek scares everybody off and donkey is very impressed by this so donkey follows shrek back to his house in the swamp and of course later the night on the night on that night is when the fairy tale creatures are like all over his in his swamp like they're in his house and in the swamp so shrek asks what what are what are everyone doing in his swamp and i'm gonna say this right now because this is actually turned out to be a meme ever since this movie came out. What are you doing in my swamp? Now, with that said, and all the fairy tale creatures uh, explained to Shrek that that nobody invited them and they were forced to go to the swamp by Lord Farquaad. So, Shrek decides to go to talk to Lord Farquaad where he would tell him to get him back his swamp. So, he takes Donkey with him them, and they go to find Lord Farquaad in his castle. Meanwhile, in Lord Farquaad's castle, Lord Farquaad was wanting to be king, so he gets a magic mirror, and the magic mirror tells Lord Farquaad that he can become a king when he marries a princess. So basically, he he decided to choose Princess Fiona, and of course, she was in the castle with the fire guarded by a fire breathing dragon. Now, if you do remember the opening? This is kind of like before, before um, Shrek happens. Is like it talks a little bit about um, Princess Fiona being a princess, and she was locked in the castle. And of course, the storybook in the beginning does play again in Shrek too, and it does play in Shrek Forever After. Just thought I would, you know, kind of let you guys know for those who have seen the Shrek movies. So, with that being said, Ed. Lord Farquaad decides to host a tournament at his castle. That's when Shrek and Donkey showed up and realizing that Duloc is quiet. So they, however, find like a tournament area where Shrek and, and, and Donkey enter in to find that all the, all the knights were going for a tournament so they can, so Lord Farquaad could pick who's the bravest one to go save Fiona from the fire-breathing dragon. However, he notices that Shrek appears and he decides to have all of his guards take care of Shrek and Donkey, but Shrek defeats everybody in the arena, so 
Lord Farquaad gives Shrek a quest. Now, Shrek tells Lord Farquaad that he's on a quest to get his swamp back and told him that he dumped the fairy tale creatures. So, Lord Farquaad said to Shrek to go on his quest for him and he would give him the swamp back. So, Shrek ag agrees with the deal and he and Donkey travel to the princess's to the castle, to a castle where the dragon would be guarding it. So Shrek and Donkey go in to save the princess. However, Donkey distracts the dragon while Shrek goes to save the princess. So in this part, you know, though the dragon falls in love with Donkey at this point. And as soon as Shrek and Donkey with Princess Fiona now escape from the castle, Fiona tells was surprised to see that the knight in armor was actually Shrek. And Shrek explains that he was on a quest for um, for Lord Farquaad. So Princess Fiona protests, saying that I will wait until Lord Farquaad shows up. But Shrek wasn't going to, you know, put up with Fiona's stubbornness. So she grabs Fiona. So he grabs Fiona and and they... And they travel through the forest to get back to Lord Farquaad. However, Fiona says they have, they camp out for the night, which of course they do so. However, Fiona hides in what seems to be a what seems to be be a little cave. So as she's hiding in the cave, Shrek and Don Donkey ask Shrek a couple of questions, and Shrek tells Donkey that. That everyone judges him before they even get to know him. That's why he's been by himself for a long time. So Shrek basically like, tells Donkey this story. And Donkey tells Shrek that he's a friend. And that he didn't think he's just some dumb old ogre. So the next day they, they continue with Princess Fiona through the forest. When Robin Hood, well Monsieur Robin Hood, tries to date. Fiona, but however, Shrek and Shrek gets an arrow fruit on his butt, and Fiona now basically defeats Robin, Monsieur Robin Hood, and his men, and they go on more until they build a campsite by an old well house or something like that. So Fiona has like a wheat wet rat dinner with Shrek that night. And during that night, Shrek really, um, in the movie right here, you see that Shrek has been falling in love with Fiona. Although, he's not really showing too much. Well, he's not telling her or anything. So, as soon as sunset hits, Fiona goes to hide in the well house while Shrek goes out to do something. However, Donkey walks inside the well house and then he finds out that Fiona turns into an ogre at night and she tells her that a witch casts a spell on her and that she would only remain like an ogre until she finds her true love's first kiss. She thinks it's Lord Farquaad while in reality it's actually Shrek. So basically the next day when Fiona is back to her normal self, Lord Farquaad takes Fiona back to the castle and he tells Shrek Rek, that he thanks her. Thanks him for that, and he gets a swamp back. However, everything's just not really the same and anything. And so Donkey comes to Shrek's house and basically asks him if he can, if they can share the swamp and that. But with all due sincerity in this part, we see that Shrek actually um, is in love with Fiona. Now, when Donkey tells Shrek that he wasn't, that she wasn't saying anything mean or all that, like, um, about Shrek. And he was saying that, she was saying that about Lord Farquaad. So, the dragon picks up Donkey and Shrek, and they go to Lord Farquaad's castle, where Shrek goes in, goes inside the castle to try to talk to Fiona. However, Lord Farquaad then says, Oh, look at here! The ogre has fallen in love with the princess! And then when sunset arrives, Fiona finally decides to show Shrek her curse, as she wasn't afraid to do so. And Lord Farquaad gets mad, so he gets every all the guards and stuff to to try to take Fiona back to the tower and and Shrek to kill the ogre. But however, the donk 
Donkey and the Dragon show up, and Donkey and Dragon basically defeat Lord Farquaad, Quad, and Shrek finally kisses Fiona, and Fiona's tr love, true love's form was at is actually actually an ogre now that she's with Shrek. Now they get do get married at the end of the movie, and it ends with them going on their honeymoon. Now. That was basically wraps up Shrek. Now I, I obviously enjoyed this movie as a kid. That and this is actually a really good uh DreamWorks movie. I know there are other ones like Madagascar and all that, but I really do feel that Shrek is actually the main core of DreamWorks of childhood. I know some people may disagree with me on this, but that's totally fine. That's their opinion. I really do believe that this movie actually did a pretty good job. Now, is there anything negative I have to say about it? No, I don't have anything negative to say about it. I honestly found this movie to be enjoyable. Like, the concept was good, the storyline of how the movie went out, and it's obviously a really funny movie. Like, I do love Mike Myers' performance as Shrek. I honestly thought he did a great job, and Eddie Murphy as Donkey was obviously awesome. But I also like... Cameron Diaz, who did Fiona, and she's obviously really cool. Now, with that said, though, I don't think I have anything negative to say about it. I honestly found this movie to be very good. Now, like I'm gonna, now I'm gonna say that if you disagree, if you don't like this movie, that's fine. I respect your opinion. But like I'm gonna say right now, this is simply my own personal opinion on this movie, and if you disagree with me, that's fine too. Now, first of all. I could definitely say that I love the the flow of this movie. It's obviously really good. And the comedy in it, it was just fantastic. I love the comedy in this movie. And, you know, I'm sad that, you know, DreamWorks movies are just not as the same as, you know, this movie. I know there's other DreamWorks movies that were good. But I honestly found that this movie is actually a really good one. Now, like I said, if... Like I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this right now that if you if ki if you were thinking should kids watch this movie, I feel that kids should watch this movie to show that all kids really enjoy this movie. And this is actually one of the reasons why Shrek was a great movie, and it still is a great movie to to a lot of people. Now, I honestly highly recommend for those who have not seen Shrek to go watch this movie, as this is a really awesome movie. And I honestly do feel that Shrek is absolutely a great movie. Now, like I'm going to say right now, I already said this is simply my own personal opinion. If you disagree with me, that's fine too. But my, fi my final rating of this movie is a 10 out of 10. It's a great movie, great concept, great animation, great everything about this. Like, the animation's good. Everything about this movie is just really good. Like, that's kind of all I have to say about Shrek, is, like, Shrek was actually a really great movie. Now, yeah, anyways, what did you all think about this movie? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what we have done personally to help make this movie a lot better? Leave me now what your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. I'm the Shadow Linus. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you're brand new here to this channel, be sure you like, comment, and subscribe, because I make brand new videos every single day. Uh, don't forget to ring the notification bell so you guys will get notified to when I upload. And with that, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.